At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Today, I am heading from Detroit back home. Canada and Sweden, they don't charge for these luggage carts. But in the US, they do. They're like six bucks a piece. So I just went in and stole somebody's luggage cart. I'm not paying six bucks for this. I'm not getting here. The Air Canada agent lady literally made me repack all my stuff because I was two pounds overweight. Hey, what's up? I'm a big fan. Sorry, Thoth here from Adrian College. Let's go, Jeff. Did you like that? What's up, Doug? How are you, man? How are you, buddy? My last flight from Detroit to Toronto was delayed by over two hours, so I ended up missing my next connection flight. And the Air Canada agents basically told me, go pound sand and sleep on the airport floor tonight. But what they don't know is that I won a lot of radio contests in my lifetime because I do not give up and I do not take no for an answer. And this was one of those times. This is what happened. So the flight from Detroit to Toronto was delayed by two hours. So I missed my flight home to Winnipeg. I'm gonna have to sleep on the airport floor. And this evening I went to go talk to customer service. They told me no meal vouchers, no hotel stuff. I then went full care and moment and got myself a hotel. Crown Plaza Hotel. All right. Two hundred dollar hotel and free food in the house. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. Early mornings in Toronto. <laughs> So Air Canada gave me these $20 vouchers for any food I wanted in the world's worst airport, Toronto Pearson. So I ended up getting myself a hot sugar cookie oat latte, croissant, and breakfast sandwich at Starbucks this morning. Fast forward two days, and after some much needed family time and also waiting for Air Canada to return my sticks that they lost, it was back to the Winnipeg airport. So I'm in Vancouver, Detroit to Toronto, Toronto, Winnipeg, Winnipeg to Vancouver. Now I know the comment section kind of goes nuts sometimes with what's going on with my situation and my health. The Motor City Rockers, first and foremost, uh, I'm not retiring, and a lot of people seem to think that retirement's coming. I live and die and breathe each day of my life for this business. And number two, I make 125 a week in the Fed. I cannot afford to retire anytime soon, so that is not happening. If you listen to my podcast, obviously you have the exclusive. But before I tell you, I want to give you a quick word from our video sponsor, NordVPN. NordVPN is how I stream all of my live sports from the SHL to the NHL and even in the Fed Zeno. I stream all of my games for free and worry-free because NordVPN protects me with their private IPs and keeps my data safe from cyber threats. But as awesome as streaming live sports for free is, one of my bigger concerns that I have these days is every time I travel and using free public airport Wi-Fi. Now this internet access may be free, 
but you do end up paying for it with the possibility of having your personal information taken, getting tracked online, and in some cases, cyber threats. But thanks to NordVPN's new cyber threat protection, it keeps me safe no matter where I go. Whether it's the world's worst airport at Toronto Pearson, my favorite in Gothenburg, Sweden, or where I started here in Detroit, I'm always safe every time I'm online, and you can too when you use the code TRAV4OILERS at NordVPN.com. You just click the first link in the video description on this video, and it'll give you the most up-to-date pricing and offer that NordVPN has. And thank you very much to NordVPN for sponsoring this journey home. Now, don't get me wrong, I will miss playing the rest of the season. I'm going to miss eating all the food and the media sweets after all of our home games whenever I'm scratched. I'm going to miss goalie coach Bill. And I mean, how could I not miss struggling to cash my $125 a week paychecks every single week and having to take them to a sketchy Russian market to go cash them? Awesome. Have a good day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, by the way, best play by play tandem in the league right here, and also the best pizza in the Fed Zeno. But I think most importantly, I'm going to miss the guys. step away and put someone in this chair that maybe might have a little more uh, clout than me, a little more uh, pizzazz than me, and people might want to hear from a little more than me. Explain to the people at home why we're not seeing you in pads tonight. It's just a, you know, a message from the good Lord that it's time to get this fixed and get healthy and, and really be able to like become the goaltender that I think I can become. And with that said, we will pick this up next Sunday where I'm going to share with you all the details on why I left Motor City, will I ever return, and what's coming up next. And speaking of which, if you want to know all the dirt going on in minor pro hockey and the behind the scenes story of the Fed Zeno that I can't share, as well as spoilers for this vlog, check out my podcast, Sling the Biscuit, is available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and the video version is home here on YouTube. It's a 45-minute non-mainstream hockey podcast that I host with my friend and Winnipeg radio legend Dave Wheeler. We do new episodes every Sunday. And I also want to say thank you to everybody who has supported my journey up to this point in the season for watching this video and hopefully for what's next to come in my life and this vlog moving forward. With that being said, I'll see you next Sunday.